So, today is my first day back, or going back, my cable job. can see it is super dark out and I mean it's just a little after 5 a.m. and yeah it's it's dark <laughs> not saying I didn't get up when it was uh, dark you know to go to military stuff because I most certainly did but even then uh, even then we there's some days that we start later, so this is really, really early. <laughs> I had to get up so early. Uh, now, there's some days we start as early as like, you know, 6 a.m. for the military, and well, actually, mission dictates. There's no real start time. But even then, uh, even then, this is still really early. So yeah, right now, driving the back roads, get to the highway, I can actually get to uh, work here. And it's about a 40, 45 minute drive. I, since I haven't driven it in a while, who knows? I mean, last time I drove this, the, uh, the road, or there was like, it was down to one lane on the highway at parts, so I don't know, we'll see how long it takes. Am I anxious to go back to work? I feel anxious, but at the same time, I, I honestly, I kind of like forgot probably everything. <laughs> I, I, you know, that muscle memory and stuff, I'm sure it is still there. Uh, I had to honestly I wrote down my passwords knowing that I was gonna forget them <laughs> so I had to go and look at them again Ooh, that reminds me I gotta still log in and be like yeah COVID free <laughs> so let me go Hello do that and welcome back to Cambria and Bobby so I recently just watched Megan from Love Meg's Christmas Decorate with me. If you haven't watched it, or if you're not subscribed to her, go check her out. Um, I love her. I just do. And, but she decorated her garland on her railing, um, going upstairs and then on the landing at the top of her stairway. And it was so beautiful and just made me want to jazz up our garland on top of our um, kitchen cabinets because I just did the garland up there. I have been wanting to get twinkle lights because those are pre-lit um, and they just, I don't know, they need more light. I also think the garland by our TV needs more light. Those are pre-lit, but there's not much to them. So, I am on my way to Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to try and make it easy and just find some picks to throw in the garland um, on top of the cabinets, but I also want to see if they have twinkle lights. Otherwise, I might have to go to Walmart to get twinkle lights. Um, they need to be battery operated, and I would like them to have a timer, like one of those timers that when you turn them on, they stay on for like six hours and then turn off and turn on at the same time the next day that would be my preference because they're on top of the cabinets so dealing with 
cords and stuff like that would just be a pain. I can do that. Um, I did that last year because my garland was pre-lit, but it was very like, I got the garland from the thrift store near me and you could tell. You can often find really nice stuff at the thrift store, but that was more of just, it worked for the, the season and the time. Um, so I did use an extension cord then, so it can be done but I don't wanna do that this year. So, going to Hobby Lobby, I'm gonna look at some picks and then jazz up that garland. Um, hopefully find some um, twinkle lights, battery operated. And then if I can't go to Walmart, and if I can't find it there, I'm sure I can find it on Amazon. I can find everything on Amazon, uh, I just don't want to wait for it. <laughs> That's what it comes down to is I don't want to wait. And even if it's next day delivery, I don't want to wait. So if I can find it today, I'm going to get it. If I can't, I'll order it on Amazon and hopefully have it uh, within a day or two. But I'm excited to add more to the garland up there. I also wasn't planning on doing the boys' bathroom this year, but I might because when I was at Walmart yesterday, I saw some really, really cute stuff for a kid's bathroom. So I might do that. I'm trying to decide. I know I go over the top. Some people, it's not your thing and I'm okay with that. But I always tell my husband, I want like Hallmark worthy Christmas. I love Hallmark. I watch it all season long when they put their Christmas stuff out and like those Christmas movies and the Christmas decorations at like small town Christmas man that would be a dream to live in a small town that is like that can I go move to Garland if y'all watch Hallmark you know what Garland is if you don't yes Garland Alaska that's where I want to move I don't know if it's a real place, but it was in a Hallmark movie, and it's like my dream. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Um, and I'm excited to get that going and just kind of jazz it up. And, yeah. So, All we'll right. see what they have. I'm on my lunch break. Yay! Uh, which means my work day is getting very close to being over. I usually take a late lunch because I know if I can like hold out as long as possible and then do my lunch later, um, more than likely it is sunny out, yay! And um, that way I get out at least during the sunlight because I c would come to work, you know, when it's dark out. So that stinks. And uh, I have no windows around me anymore where when I was in the other office before we got cubicles I had a window right behind me so I could enjoy some of the outside not so much right now eh, anyways uh, there's, there's some more papers leaving um, but anyways I'm gonna uh, go to lunch I might stop at Menards and go check out um, some of the Christmas decorations. I don't know if I'll have time, and but we'll see. You know, I'm just glad that today is going by fairly quickly, and yeah, I forget. I was gonna say something else, but I, but I don't remember. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I remember what I was gonna say. Uh, my buddy at work wasn't at work. Um, he had a doctor's appointment or something, and I did not get to uh, see him. So, that stinks. However, there was other people that I got to see and talk to, so that was good. And the people I didn't want to see or talk to, I so far haven't, so that's good too. So, so far it's a pretty good day, and the sun's out. I just, I, I love when the sun's out. That's just tops. 
especially when it says it's 32 degrees out. I mean, I'm wearing my freaking leather coat. It's all, it looks like I'm fat as hell, but it's just, that's just a bunch of air because I'm sitting down. But yeah, so far so good. By the time I get back from lunch, I'll have, I'll have less than two hours of work left. So that's awesome. Check it out. They got a Christmas poo. <laughs> uh, yeah. That is definitely an emoji poo. Inflatable. They got a bunch of other ones here too. Eminards. Got some bigger guys here, 12 feet. Got Santa in a, what looks like a V-dub. Santa in a V-dub van. Got the Grinch. Some of your creepy Christmases. I got this guy last year on clearance, so what a steal of a deal I got on it. Being one of the last ones they had. And Olaf. So yeah, some cute ones, but nothing that I'm looking to get. And I know, I know Cambria won't let me get this so Christmas. Back from the store little miss is not a fan of car rides she does not like being in her um car seat so i didn't film in the store because one it was busy two i was holding her because she just started fussing and i couldn't calm her down and i just didn't want her screaming in the store so i just held her the whole time but i do want to show you what i got and then I'm going to sit down and feed her because I think she'll take a nap because she didn't nap the whole time we were gone. So feed and then put little miss down because she is tired. All right. Since little miss is in my arms, I just grabbed out one of each, but I got this pick right here. This one, which I think is really pretty. It was, oh. Let's see, it was, focus on it, it's like no, I don't want to focus. Alright, I will just tell you, $2.99, 50% off, and then we got this one, which is just a red with some very pretty like sparkles on it. This one was, oh, it does not like these tags at all. All right, that one was $3.99, once again, 50% off. And then I got this big ball, which I think is so, so pretty. And this one was $3.99, but 50% off. So I got, oh, come on, focus better. There we go. Um, 20 of these, 12 of those and 12 of those. And but I'm going to use those up there to just kind of add some color and fun to it. And then they did have these. So these are seven feet um, LED lights. They're a little bit bigger, so I think they'll be pretty up there. And they are the battery operated, so they can... Um, six hours on 18 hours off and double a batteries so i got those hopefully i have enough double a batteries if not i did not end up going to walmart because she was so fussy so um i just came home maybe go to walmart tomorrow um or even later today we'll see but i wanted to feed her put her down kind of have to work on her schedule um, I made sure to feed her and whatnot before we left. That way she wouldn't be hungry while we were gone. Um, but Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, all those places are 30 to anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour away. There's none near us. So when I go on those ones, I know it's at least an hour, 
minimum just because of there and back, not including time in the store. Um, she's just staring off over there. So I am now going to feed her and then see if she wants to go down for a nap. She has been sleeping so good on her own in her room. So much better than if I leave her down here. So we're going to do that. She's happy now that she's being held. <laughs> Isn't that how it always goes? So I'm on my last break of the day. And I pretty much stacked like all my breaks, kind of. Uh, I did one, my first break late, then 40, oh, no, about like an hour later then I did my lunch break and then came back from lunch and did this break 15 minutes later. Uh, so basically I stacked them kind of towards the end of the day. That way I really just have a short, short, short span until I'm done with work. And yeah, so that's kind of nice. I got like, by the time I get off a break, 45 minutes left. So I'm in the conference room, I mean, you, which, I just I come over here because you can see like the parking lot and you can see you know, a building but also you get that the wilderness over on the other side of the road. So I come in here, just kind of relax and check out the scenery and sometimes people are out there and you see what they're doing, see people see, people watch, whatever it's called and uh, yeah. But. Yeah, there's some creepy hands back there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why there's creepy hands back there. But uh, yeah, this, this is a conference room and with COVID going on, uh, it's pretty much a room of five. So yeah, but now I went I went to Menards on my lunch break just to check out what they have for Christmas and to check out what was what they had left from Halloween and they really got like nothing nothing good, you know. But as far as Christmas goes, they got they got some stuff and nothing I'm really interested in. I did video the the Christmas poo. <laughs> Seriously, they have the poo emoji with the Santa hat on. And he's got lights. I I messaged Cambria, you know, video message her saying, hey, they got a Christmas poop. And she's like, absolutely not. No. Two reasons. One, it's a Christmas poop. Two, it's 30 bucks. $30 for a three foot inflatable. That's crazy. Three foot inflatables should be no more than 15, 20 bucks tops. And three feet for 30, no, 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 no. That's $30 should get you about four and a half foot inflatable, maybe five feet. That's, that's more realistic. Not no three feet for 30, You're paying 10 bucks a foot. That's crazy. So. No, especially when I was able to get that. Now, granted, you know, I don't know. No, that wasn't even on sale. It was just their normal price at Walmart. Getting that 12 footer for under 50 bucks. That's a steal of a deal. That's the kind of stuff you want is those steel deals. This right now, unless that Christmas poo goes real cheap on sale, not happening. But I have a feeling they'll sell out because they're silly. You know, it's a, a poop emoji dressed for Christmas. It's kind of, the idea was done by South Park years ago with Han Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. So, you know, I wonder if there's like some sort of copyright. I know they're not the exact same look, but they are both Christmas poops. I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> kind of a silly question. What do you think about Christmas Pooh? But, uh, I, I think we got something here. If South Park wanted to sue them, they totally could. But then they might not make any more inflatables for me. Hmm. All right, South Park, don't sue them. But there's similarities there. There's similarities. 
So no Christmas poo at our house. <laughs> Unless I can find it super cheap and then sneak it in. <laughs> Freya is starting to get some cradle cap, which Bjorn had it also. So I am going to try and work with that. Um, I didn't do too much with Bjorn. Um, at least not right away. And he ended up like going bald because of it, getting bad enough. And he was a boy, so I wasn't as stressed out about it. But I don't want it to happen to Freya. So it's pretty easy to deal with. Um, if I would have known right away with Bjorn, I would have dealt with it right away. But I didn't. So, but I do know it's Freya. So, coconut oil and her brush. I know I had to good stuff. I put her down. She's mad at me. So we are going to just massage some coconut oil on her scalp and then brush it and then probably let it sit 15, 30 minutes. You can even let it sit overnight. It's not that bad right now. So I think 30 minutes will be enough. And then just give her a bath um, and wash it out. It's pretty simple, but I don't want her losing all her pretty hair. Hi. Hi. So I'm going to use a good amount of coconut oil, which is why this towel is in here. She's going to get all greasy. most babies enjoy it because it's like a head massage she wanted to prove me wrong <laughs> she is now nursing because she's very upset with me for doing that um which i don't know why i think she's tired i think that's more than anything is she's just tired so i still have the towel on my lap i'm nursing her she'll fall asleep and i will wash her after she's done with a nap because she was not very thrilled. Right, baby girl? Um, but yeah, you just put a lot, lot of coconut oil in their hair. And then just take the soft bristle baby brush. You can also get specific cradle cap brushes with um, rubber bristles and whatnot. But it's not 100% necessary. And some of them are pricey. They're like 10, 15 bucks. You can get cheaper ones on Amazon for like four or five. Um, but I looked those up and they don't re won't deliver till next week sometime. So I'm if the brush didn't seem to do the trick, I'll order one. But I noticed in the past it's not really necessary. But maybe if you have a baby with like really, really bad cradle cap, those would be more so, necessary. I ended up staying at work a little later than I expected. But since I haven't been there in so long, I uh, and also the annual like enrollment for benefits uh, was coming up. So I wanted to review my benefits and stuff like that. And kind of just stayed doing that. Which is fine. I mean, it's normally they have you do like a, a class or like a session. So my thought is, well, 
if they're gonna pay me for a session at work, I might as well, you know, do the online tutorials and stuff at the very least and get paid, right? So, cause yeah, there's a, there's a video you can watch that goes over the changes that were from the previous year to this new year and then just going over the benefits just so you're more knowledgeable to be able to make changes if necessary um, through this work I do like dental and vision but you also because I work here you know you have your 401k options and stuff like that so that's kind of the stuff I was going over because um, through the military I do my medical because it's a this is the better medical package so yeah I will look into this medical though just because you never know things can change and when I'm not in the military it has the full possibility of changing which I think it does so it might be better or cheaper to maybe go with this medical so it's all stuff I got to weigh out and figure out but yeah I figured I would stay a little bit today because next week is when it's all where we can start doing it wait well I guess we start doing it this week but you know next week's probably when I'll do it so I wanted to inform myself now and then can always talk to Cambria about a hey, should we do this or that make changes that type of stuff so that's kind of why I'm leaving now and it's kind of dark but I did want to stop at the store before I go home it's a I'm gonna go to like farm fleet or something I gotta check out some stuff it's kind of thinking for this this monster maybe the limited edition forerunner but it does not have heated seats. So I was thinking of getting like a heated seat cover or even just a heated pad that can go and just, you know, you just put on top of the dang seat and then plug it in the cigarette lighter adapter. Cause I mean, you can see I got some fancy seat covers already with it. These are not the, uh, the, the regular seats. I mean, the regular seats look like that. These are just really nice seat covers the previous owner put on. So I'm like, heck yeah, they're pretty sweet, you know? Um, but I got multiple cigarette lighters, so, I mean, look at it, we got one here, one here, one here, I'm using this one to power, you know, charge my cell phone, but, you know, I can always use this one, maybe, to heat the seat. So that was just my thought on it, is... It may be nice in the winter beater when the one you drive when it's freezing outside and maybe have some heated seat. Steering wheel should be fine. Um, it's already got like a little cover. I mean, if you really want, just wear gloves. I got gloves in my pocket, so I can always just wear gloves for this. But I figure, you know, let's get some, get a nice heated cover on my seat here for the driver's seat. But we'll go see. I'm gonna go see what the uh, what the store has. I kind of like was checking. That's right. I gotta check Amazon first. Sometimes you just get like a way better deal ordering online. But once in a while, you get those nice deals in store too. So you gotta you gotta shop it. Right. So I'm finally driving home. This day turned out a lot longer than I thought. Um, the last time I updated you, it was still somewhat light outside. You know, turning darkish, but still light. Um, I ended up stopping at Farm and Fleet. I did find what I was looking for, and I, you know, I checked Amazon before I bought it. And this is comparable um, to Amazon. I ended up getting a seat cushion, not a seat cover, because um, I like my seat cover. So I just got the seat cushion, and it has low, medium, high, and an auto shut off uh, timer. So now my back and bum is roasty toasty. So for this old 1999 Toyota 4 Runner, I now have a heated seat. So I'm happy considering it's you know 33 degrees outside and this is the winter beater. 
it needs heated seats. So yeah, I picked that up at Farm and Fleet, so I am very happy. And then I also, while I was there, I wanted, um, I've been looking for like a nice heater, nothing too crazy. I didn't want to like spend a ton of money, you know? So I didn't buy like a torpedo heater or anything like that, but I just wanted like a little heater, like a little uh, versatile one. So I found one that's a uh, utility and garage. It almost looks like a torpedo heater, it's electric. Um, you can angle it, so if you wanted to like concentrate on a certain spot, so if you're trying to like thaw something, you know, maybe like something on a car got frozen, I don't know. But uh, the purpose was, is not only is it supposed to be able to heat a garage, probably take a while, I mean, it's not that big, it's, it's relatively small. It's a ceramic heater, but uh, you also, you know, for those really, really cold times or whatever, you want to bring it into a room to add a little bit extra heat. Like Freya's room, we have a tiny ceramic heater in it. We only run it when she is taking her naps um, because her room gets cold. It's the farthest room away from the furnace. It's on the second floor. So it, for whatever reason, her room just doesn't heat like all the other ones. Now granted, she doesn't have electronics in her room like all the other ones. So it's probably electronics that are really heating her room, honestly. And then just bigger people, more body heat. Um, so she does have a little heater, but we also wanted like a little heater if she takes, you know, a bath or a shower uh, with one of us. That way the room isn't freezing. So, you know, like have the heater on. We don't have like a heater in, you know, up in the vent or anything like that, like some houses and bathrooms do. So it, we just got a little portable one. And like I said, I bought it so I can use it not only in the garage, but you can also bring it inside and use it in the room. So, yeah. So I got the garland done. It is so pretty. It's pretty much what I've been doing all day. But if y'all want to see how I did it, you have to watch my other channel because I'm going to have it over there. But I will, because you guys are here, give you a sneak peek of what it looks like. Um, but to actually see it being done, you got to go check out my other channel for that. But I am going to show you what it looks like. I'm so excited. I love it. I really do. So, the lights are really nice in there. I just think it just needed that little bit of extra, and it turned out so good. But, Bobby's going to be home soon. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you're new here. We would love to have you join. We do family vlogs, um, sometimes routine videos. But this is our family vlog channel, so it kind of varies, and we like to have fun with it. So there's always new stuff on here. But I'm going to get off of here, and I'll see you next time. Bye!